Hello and welcome to this test which enables you to look into something that has seen billions upon billions of pounds worth of investment over the last five to ten years. It's a new route that you can take and we have to make you aware of it and you have to consider it. There are loads of opportunities in this area but it's still not quite got there in terms of what uh, parents and students come to think of it. The route we're going to look at today is the apprenticeships route. So, once you've logged into Unifog, I would like you to scroll down to the Searching for Opportunities area and click on Apprenticeships. Take a minute or two to read about what apprenticeships currently consider. I would say to you, one of the main problems with apprenticeships is that particularly the older generations, maybe like myself, still think of apprenticeships as something that involves uh, being a plumber's mate or the trades in some way. And whilst there are many apprenticeships around trades, it's a massive growth area. And finance companies and top media companies and top law companies all look at apprenticeships now. Some even ahead of, uh, of, of university. So what are apprenticeships? I think the best thing to read here the main thing to, to recall are the types. Firstly, there are traineeships. These are usually unpaid and last a short period of time. Great for getting experience. Intermediate apprenticeships are what some of you might take instead of going onto the GCSEs. Very rare, mainly those who are on a college programme. They might be doing one at the same time, in fact. Some students leave at the end of GCSEs to then go to college. They will often do level two intermediate uh, apprenticeships or level two courses. Occasionally you can do a level one course at college as well. But that's really for students who perhaps haven't been able to achieve their GCSEs. Advanced apprenticeships are open at level three, which is the equivalent of two level. And then when a lot of our, um, our sixth form students are currently considering are higher level degree apprenticeships. So you've got two types. Higher level is here, that's level four. And then degree apprenticeships as well. Just that. The degree apprenticeship is great because you can not only earn whilst uh, actually having a job, you can also go to university at the same time for a day or two days a week to study for your degree. So there's a different range of apprenticeships that are available to you. Another thing to bear in mind is that the types of apprenticeships are called standards. So rather than saying the type of apprenticeship I want, we now need to refer to the correct language of the standard of apprenticeship I'm looking for is. So let's use Unifog to explore a little bit of what this might look like. Let's go to next. You can click on 10 standards to get a real range, and I would encourage you to explore as much as you possibly can. So if I am interested in business studies, for example, I might choose, there are 145 standards, I'll go accounting, accounting technicians, advertising, perhaps I'll throw that in there as well. I'm quite interested in aircraft, so aviation, ground operations might be there, aircraft maintenance, aerospace engineers, a bit of a push, but I'll go with it. We've got business innovation growth, business administration, and so on. Chartered management, I think, will be another one I'll choose here. And I'll stop there, I've got nine. So I've chosen the nine standards. It's important that I could go back and choose even more. Perhaps I'm, I'm stuck between two different careers. That's why you might want to choose 10 standards to do with your first choice career and 10 standards that are related to your second choice career. You can perform this search as many times as you want. Now, I'm now looking at the map. Um, and I can see here's a range of vacancies. Now, let's be honest, I'm not going to apply right now. I might, though, just broaden my search because what I want to see are opportunities. So I'm going to go 10 miles. There's 46 vacancies. 
Pazif mi çabuk olacak? Now before I go next, one thing to inform you is that your address should be written down as your school address. So that's where the pin is on the map. So anything that's 10 miles from the school, not necessarily your own house. Let's go next. Okay. What Unifrog now does, it splits all these opportunities up into the three levels that we spoke about earlier. Intermediate, advanced and higher degree. I want to make sure I've got some from all of them. So let me start by just choosing uh, some accounts on the intermediate side. I'm going to do that one. i the same. I'm trying to look for different places to apply. So I don't want to go to the same place the whole time. I'll go there. Okay, fine. And then I'll choose some random ones here. And then finally, I want to make sure I've got some higher degree level ones as well as Tesco. A bit of tax, why not? Business degree, apprenticeship, Cap Gemini, it's a major accounting firm or business consultancy firm. And a Deloitte as well, tax. And I've got chosen now 10 vacancies, that's enough. Really important that I've got some from each of the three categories. Okay. Now what I can do is just explore them. So here is a list of all 10, a bit more detail. So an intermediate one here, an accounts, accounts apprentice uh, in Newcross Road, and we've got lots of details about the actual job itself or the apprenticeship, but probably what you want to get straight down to are some of these facts. So we've got start dates. Obviously, I'm not that worried about when I start because I'm not actually going to apply. And I've got uh, details about the employer, which is really important to know. I've got my weekly wage, um, and there are no ratings yet on recommendations. So there's quite a lot there to take in. It also says the sort of uh, requirements, and I've got here functional skills and maths and English is required, or if required. Now, functional skills is a maths and English qualification is not quite at GCC level. If I then go to intermediate, I can see a little bit more. The weekly wage has just has actually dropped a little bit there, but there might be more training involved. Uh, and again, not a lot about the uh, getting in there. It seems quite easy to get into it. Let me go down to an advanced one, perhaps. Oh, there's a higher one, why not? So this is a Deloitte. Uh, and quite often, these ones will refer you to the website. So now I'm going to go straight to the Deloitte website there. Massive, massive firm. And they get quite strict criteria in getting in. And you can see here, suddenly it's about UCAS points, 260. Uh, there are some GCC requirements here, at least grade four in English, and at least grade six in math. So you can see how the standards have gone up, plus you need UCAS points. UCAS points are earned from your A levels. There's another higher one. Uh, degree apprenticeship this time. Uh, again, Cap Gemini. This is at Aston University, that's in Birmingham. I happen to know so quite. Uh, the university is quite far away there. Again, a little bit more details, but you can see you end up with a degree, the BA honours, lots of very clear entry requirements and it just shows you the difference in trying to get up to an advanced or sorry higher or degree level here's an advanced one um, which you remember is the middle category and the wage is 327 pounds and so on so have a good look at them just gives you a really good idea of a different route to take you don't have to necessarily do levels or uh, obviously due to see but so on. then save them and that will be emailed to you. So that now sits in your email. So why not forward that and send it home to your parents to show them what you've been looking at? That's all for the apprenticeships tax. Remember, you can go on and do a second set of standards if you have another career in mind. Good luck.